we have a special treat for you guys. This week we are showcasing the delicious family food of Doña Mari. Initially, we recorded an episode earlier in the year, but we wanted to come back and showcase their new food options, new trailer, and new locations because they are growing so fast. The best way to keep up with them is to follow them on Instagram as they are very up to date with their page and are always posting their locations and updates. What's up everyone, Jay Garcia here, your Sacramento real estate agent here with my beautiful girlfriend, Anai. And thank you guys for watching our last episode. Actually today we're in Mexico in a, at a little town called La Manzanilla. Have you ever been to a little food stand in Mexico and just love the street food? Well, there's actually a place in Sacramento which brings the whole Mexican vibe to the streets of Sacramento. Make sure to stick to the end. As always, we're gonna do a giveaway. Three winners to go check this awesome spot out. All right, guys, let us know what you think. So what I really like about this spot is the ambiance. Like, it feels very similar to when you're in Mexico and you're like, literally people drive by and just see a little taco stand. They got their tent up, their tables and there's like a huge line of people. The line literally hasn't stopped since we got here and we've been here for like over an hour and just people keep coming and coming and coming. Um, most orders are to go because the spaces to eat is really small, but I mean, you could wait in line and order your food or they also have a phone number where you can pre-order if you don't want to wait in line because the line gets long and it gets busy. And they have the Mexican music playing, they, you know, they're super friendly, so it literally feels like I'm in Mexico. I'm about to get up in this. I'm actually gonna order quesadillas with handmade tortillas. So let's do that. Doña Mari, ¿puedo ordenar una quesadilla? Claro, como no. De esas uh, tortillas. Claro Por que favor. sí. Esta es quesadilla de, de masa, de tortilla de masa. Perfecto. Y me vas a decir de qué la quieres. Lo, lo puedo hacer con papa porque yo soy vegetariano. Con papa te la hago, claro que sí. Por favor. No? ¿Y queso también? Sí, por favor. Muy bien. Yeah. Another cool thing is that I can order it however I want to. You know what I mean? There's not just like one way to order it. I can ask her to put beans in it, rice in it, you know, keep it veggie style. I can put all sorts of meat in it. You know, if you guys, that's, if that's your thing. Um, yeah, super options here. You guys gotta try it out. with chicken and then I'll get a, a taco de papa al pastor. So hey Bridget how what do we have to order around this lovely place? Quesadillas, mulitas, and our famous enchiladas. We're also serving platillos de barbacoa, served with rice and beans. Famous enchiladas, huh? Yeah, these are Doña Mari's famous enchiladas right here. It's really, really good. I can't wait. If I could try the famous quesadillas, that'd be lovely. Okay, we have potato, um, we have mix, which is potato with cheese, or is this potato with just cheese? Okay, I'll do a mix. Mix? Okay, perfect. We'll get you some mixed enchiladas, okay? Sounds great. Cool. How you doing, brother? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. I see y'all here doing it up. Trying to cook up some good food for the people, man? Great. What can I get for you, man? Right here, we got the tacos, the quesadillas, the molitas. We got asada al pastor. We have a marinated shredded beef. We call it birria or barbacoa. Chicken. And you can have any choice of meat you want, man. This is about five, five and a half to six hours slow right here, man. So we got to get up super early, throw this thing on in the morning, about five, six in the morning to be ready and get it going over here. We can, we'll make it guaranteed fresh, man. We had witnesses here before, man, that we, we they seen it themselves. We don't have anything left over, man. So everything we cook daily is everything fresh. This is a, our bolita. It's a corn tortilla, a regular taco tortilla, come with cheese, um, some your choice of meat, and I'm gonna top it off with some fresh cebollas, some fresh cilantro, and 
we top it off with some guacamole sauce and my mama's other secret sauce. And that's the flavor right there, man. And then we give it a little turnover, man. Put the other side. And these are really, really known right here, man. Greasy little mulita, man. So, hey, after you get your food, you're gonna come this way over here to this assorted table with a whole bunch of toppings. Me, myself, I'm already grabbing me a lime for some little extra flavor. If I need, I'm gonna throw a little bit of sauce on the side here because I like my stuff hot. It's going down. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try this first right here. Let me see. Man, it don't even need no hot sauce. This got so much flavor in it. Mm, the tortilla has tons of flavor. And the meat, the meat is super tender for carne asada. Mm, two thumbs up. <laughs> So this right here is the enchilada. Let me try it out. It just, it went down like too easy. I didn't even have to bite. Full of flavor and it's creamy, but it's just full of flavor. This right here is fire. It's so popular, the chicken, that many people ordered just a side of the chicken to go. So they had already ran out, so I'm not gonna get a chance to try that. So uh, next time I gotta come when they first open doors so I can hopefully grab me some chicken and probably some sides, multiple side orders to go so others can be in my place today. I also got tacos. I got papa and al pastor. So if you don't eat meat, you can still come and try the potato. That's what papa is, the potato tacos. So the first one I'm trying is the taco de papa. But the taco probably tastes better with meat in it because there's a lot more flavor on the meat. Because I think the papa, they used it mainly for the enchilada. It's definitely good for vegetarians. All right, so I'm most excited about this one because it's a quesadilla with chicken. And that's sour cream on top. I put salsa already on top. Look at how juicy that looks. Um. Doña Mari is the main chef behind it all and her heartwarming family all hustled together to make this place an unforgettable experience. What had me so inspired was the story on how they all started. Doña Mari's husband was injured at his job and wasn't able to provide the income at the time so Doña Mari took matters in her own hands and started to cook and sell food with the help of her children. It all started with a small grill and now just months later this is what they've become. This establishment is a beautiful story on how the hard work of a family all working together to create something people can really enjoy. When you go to Doña Mari's, you'll find long lines that move quickly as all the staff members focus on providing an excellent service to their guests. And I really like how it's an outdoor setup outside in tents in an alley because that way it gives an authentic feel from Mexico. Real Mexican street food here in Sacramento. All right, so my buddy Gabe here is gonna try the quesadilla de asada. Thank you very much. Add anything on top of it? What are you gonna add, Gabe? Cilantro. So we got our quesadillas and we are gonna try these out, dig in. I got the vegetarian one, we're gonna show you guys what the other ones taste like too. I know you got the pollo and my friend got the asada. 
It's really, it's comfort food. It's really good. <laughs> You're cheating with the fork? Yep. <laughs> Delicious. The vegetarian option is the way to go with this taco. It's spicy, it has that kick to it. What I like about it is the tortilla. The tortilla is bomb. The tortilla always has the key on the flavor to making the whole dish bomb. Me, personally, I think so. Of course, the salsa and everything. But when you have the tortilla that's really good, handmade, it's a win-win. There you go, Gabe. All right. Dig in, brother. All right, guys, there you have it. Doña Mari's Sack Living Vlog episode. Y'all were asking for it. Here it is. It was so, so good. We had to come multiple times because they kept coming up with new dishes. Yep, and so we want to showcase their expansion, their growth. This family is working hard. They put the H in hustle, and they put the F in family, and you get to experience that when you come. They have two locations as well. And we're going to put those two locations in the in the bio for you guys to see and find out where they are. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe. In order to enter our giveaway, to try this delicious food. You guys know the drill. All right, guys. See you soon. God bless.